So oh, praise the Lord. Welcome to another video as I am doing a reading and reflection on the book of Romans and right now in focusing on Romans chapter 8 and right now I am looking at verse 12 and just so very thankful for being able to go through the book of Romans and being able to go through here Romans chapter 8 as I as I drive here and just I'm just very thankful just for all that God has blessed us and and thank you for tuning in to this video feel free to like comment and subscribe hallelujah Romans 8 beginning in verse 12 it says so then brothers we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh for if you live according to the flesh you will die but if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. This continues with the context of what Paul was addressing to the Romans about the flesh and the Spirit, about putting to death the deeds of the flesh, about having the mind of the Spirit and not having the mind of the flesh, about having the Spirit of Christ, the Spirit of life, the Holy Spirit, in us and that we are able to fight with the help of the Holy Spirit the deeds of the flesh we are to be thankful because we are not engaged in this fight alone but we have the Holy Spirit who is with us who is watching over us who is the one who is who is always able to empower us to be able to fight the spiritual battles that we may fight every single day. But it is important for us to remember, it is important for us to be mindful of the fact that we have to engage in this battle, right? It is not just that we sit back and the Holy Spirit is going to just work in our favor, work in our behalf, and we don't do anything. We don't participate at all. We don't engage. We just sit back and relax and almost act as if, like, you know, the Holy Spirit is our servant and fighting our battles. No, it is our battle. It is my battle to fight. I am the one who has sinned. I am the one who has lived in sin. I am the one who needs redemption. It's not the Holy Spirit who needs redemption. It is me who needs redemption. And I am to engage in this fight, in this spiritual battle, in that when I am tempted, in that when I want to give in to my fleshly desires, whatever it may be, that I have to fight that and I have to go to the Lord and I have to fight this battle with God. Not that I fight it on my own and not that I just sit back and relax and just allow God to do everything for me. That's not how it works. We have to engage in this spiritual battle. We have to fight in this spiritual battle because we can be just bombarded with temptations each and every single day. But as it says here, as Paul, as he wrote here, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, and so you will live. And this talks about with putting to death the deeds of the body. You see, our old self died with Christ on the cross. And we live now as a new self, hence being born again. We now live a new life for Christ. We live for Christ now. We do not live for sin. And we are to put to death the deeds of the body. Because just because now we live a new life, with Christ, it does not mean that the deeds of the body, that the fleshly desires, that all of that just automatically goes away and disappears and never comes back. As long as we're living in this life here on earth and we deal with our imperfections, we will still have to deal with these battles and with dealing with the deeds of the body. But as it says here, we are to put that to death. That's part of that concept where it says, you know, die daily. Right. Where daily we are to pick up our cross and we are to put to death the deeds of the flesh and the deeds 
of the body, where we live by the Spirit. See, John Owen, a great Puritan author, he talked about, uh, he wrote a book on the mortification of sin. And the premise of that book is to, is this verse right here, to put to death the deeds of the body, to mortify your sins, to do whatever it is that you can do, that you do not put yourself in a situation where you are given to sin, where you do not put yourself in a situation where you even face the temptation to sin, that you put yourself in situations and in places and with people that keep you as far away from the temptation of sin as possible, to mortify the desires of the flesh, to not give in to them and to try your very best, obviously with the help of the Holy Spirit, to not even to have them, to mortify the deeds of the flesh, to mortify the deeds of the body, to put to death here the deeds of the body, and so you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Amen. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery, right? A spirit that is given into sin, slavery to sin, to fall back into fear. But you have received the spirit of adoption as sons. Hallelujah. By whom we cry, Abba, Father. Praise the Lord. Praise God that we have the spirit of God who dwells in us and who helps us in knowing and being able to cry out to God to cry out to our Heavenly Father, to say, Abba, Father, that whatever situation we may find ourselves in, whatever trap we have been caught in, that we are able to cry out to God, that we're able to cry out to our Heavenly Father, that we are able to seek our Heavenly Father at any moment, at any time, from anywhere, that we do not hold on to the burden of sin, ourselves, that we do not hold on to the pain that we have ourselves, that we do not hold on to our anxiety and and our fears and all this stuff, all this negativity, that we do not hold on to that ourselves, but that we cry out to the Lord, that we cast our burdens, our, our anxieties onto God. That we cry out, Abba, Father. Thank God, because we're not alone. Thank God, because we're not abandoned. Thank God, because we can cry out to the Lord. We can cry out to our Heavenly Father. Abba, Father, God, please help me. God, please be with me. We have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. The Holy Spirit himself bears witness with us. What better witness can we have about our salvation than the Holy Spirit himself, who can bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God? And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. Ugh, hallelujah. Praise God. Make sure this isn't... Praise the Lord. Just <laughs> so very thankful. Just so very thankful. Praise God for what the Lord is able to do in our lives. Just praise God that the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. See, we may be suffering now with what we go through, with the afflictions that we face, with, with what goes on in our lives, but we know that one day we will be with the Father. We know that one day we will be with our Lord. We know that one day we get to be with Christ Jesus in his presence forever and ever. That is the hope that we have. That is what the Holy Spirit can bear witness 
with our spirit that we are heirs of that promise that we are heirs of God that we are fellow heirs with Christ that we can cry out to our Heavenly Father Abba Father Lord God please help me be with me we know that we are not alone we know that God is always with us praise God hallelujah praise the Lord for his goodness for his mercy and for his grace praise him because we are not just saved but we are heirs we are sons and daughters of God we are adopted as sons and daughters of God that we are able to cry out to our Heavenly Father have a father hallelujah that if we have no one to look to there's no one better to look to than to our Heavenly Father those whom we love and those who are around us there will come a time that they will disappoint us they will let us down but praise God because our Heavenly Father he never lets us down it's not in his nature he acts in love he acts according to his will and even of things that we may not understand will one day understand but the Father he knows the end from the beginning everything is in his hands there's no one better to cry out to than to the lord our god than to yahweh the most high thank you god thank you father for your presence is with us thank you for what your son did on the cross and thank you that your spirit is with us and dwells in us lord we thank you and praise you in jesus name amen Amen. I pray that this has been a blessing and that this has been uplifting. And thank you for tuning into this video as I am doing these reading and, and reflections on the book of Romans and in doing Romans chapter 8 here. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and check back for some more videos. Amen. Take care and God bless.